against my better job. Our borders to the Far East. Okay, here we go. So, what we're going to be doing at Lindum today? Mm, where is Caesar? Uh, this isn't Lindum. Let's navigate out. And now we can select Lindum. And uh, yeah, let's see. Who we yeah we listened yeah last yesterday but we can hear what Caesar has to say about Linda again. Let's let's give it a listen. Our borders to the far east, the south, and the west are secure. 
The various Germanic tribes threaten the near eastern border as they've always done, and Rome's legions are committed to that frontier. I have no troops left for the far north or generals to command them. You will secure Britannia once and for all. Build a medium city far to the north, in the province called Linden. Here, your military prowess will be as important as your governing skills. Your assignment is to build a wall that will keep the Celts and their brethren out of Britannia. Security is your main concern in Lindum, but I also challenge you to achieve high ratings to prove yourself worthy of the next final promotion. If you can do it, I shall turn the Empire itself over to you. I have wanted to retire for some years now, but lacking an heir, I need to find a worthy successor. Prove yourself this one last time, and the ultimate prize is yours. Is the audio repeating for everyone else? Also, uh, hello Quasi, Pepperan, and Decision, welcome. Yeah, before I keep going, uh, is the audio actually looping? Because that would be very strange. Audio is fine. Okay, good. That's the answer I wanted to hear, Pepper. Gotcha. Okay, super. Uh, right. So if I had to guess, I would guess all the attacks are going to come from up here. Uh, but I don't really know that for sure. Uh, okay, we do have wolves. Uh, what can I export? So these guys will buy clay and pottery. Interesting. They will buy meat. They sell us weapons. They will buy iron. Okay, so we get to make iron. And they buy furniture. And they buy weapons. Okay, so... We're pretty... Uh, pretty open to do as we wish more more wolves mm -hmm. and even more wolves okay mm -hmm. so we're gonna wall out the wolves Now I know I could just uh, go and put an aqueduct across, but I like to play as if I'm doing the challenge. I figure if I start uh, going easy on myself for that kind of things, I'll never, I'll never keep an edge. I'll go there and. Why not? We'll have the wall there. Okay. So that should keep out the uh, the wolves and let us build a city. And I think these guys will be Londinium, the city we we, could, we built in some other streams. Uh, will be our uh, our best first trade route. So let's open that up. I always like to start by opening up. Um, my land roots, make as much money as I can from the land roots, and then move on. Um, okay. So, and this is actually, you no, know, this will be a great spot for all our industry. So we'll, we'll start the city up here. And... True heroes use walls, that's right. Well, I mean, they, they, um, like, the way to, the way to really cheese it is you come over here, and you just do that. There. Wolves aren't a problem anymore. And then, uh, Whales are even cheaper. Yeah, that's a good point. But you can't drag and uh, place them. 
Anyway, I don't like doing that. And let's see, roll on a couple. I have three extras. Claws, <laughs> what a crutch! Oh boy. Oh, the whole the paint peanut gallery is here in force. I see. Okay. Oh, quasi! I try. I uh, loaded up your map. Uh, unfortunately, as it's as it's done, it your map is unbeatable uh, because you've asked for um, quite a high pri prosperity rating, but the uh, there's no oil on the map because you can't get. Um, you have no way of getting uh, olives. Because uh, as it's set up, you need to import olives, but um, you you've made it so you can't um, you can't import anything. Um, now I, I can just make a save file and edit it to allow uh, to allow oil. So that's that's a a, a pretty easy. Um, Easy workaround. Uh, not to allow oil, but to allow uh, olive farms. Can't I just ask the Americans for oil? Hmm. That would be. Uh... That would be a real threat to the souveraineté de this province. Can't do that. We need to be independent. Uh, although on Quasi's map, you know, if we count the Americans as uh, any imports, we can't even ask them because there's no there's no valid areas to put our ports, unfortunately. Uh, but it's an easy easy fix. Also, did you mean for the player to not have access to weapons on your map, Kazi? Alright, we can seize this bailout money. It's fine. And we should be in business here. We're nice and close to um, agriculture here, so we can, we'll be able to import that stuff soon. Um, uh, not import, but we can start production quite easily. Blessing from Neptune. Ah, I should also make sure I turn on these exports. Export this, export that. And, and we also need to switch this guy to only accepting pottery. And this guy only accepts clay. Gotcha. The um, so yeah, as your as your map is set right now, um, you also can't develop weapons on your own because uh, you'd have to import iron um, based on the trade routes and what is allowed. Okay, we've got popular 500 citizens. Oh, we got a blessing for the series. Good. Uh, we just need these uh, exports to start uh, start rolling out. There we go. We've got a little bit of money there. Contaminated water. Fortunately, we have our doctor doing the rounds. Ooh. Didn't stop an outbreak though, and now we're in debt. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so we got clay and pottery piling up. This is good. That'll, uh, that'll pay off our debts. And there we go. So, oh yes, I never, uh, never improved our wages. So let's up our wages a little bit. We'll put it up to thirty-six. 
and I'll actually slash taxes down to zero. Um, hmm. I didn't want to have this money at the start of the map. Uh, can't possibly have built up this much uh, at the beginning. So we're just gonna waste it all by giving Caesar a bunch of gifts in a row. So I shouldn't have it. There we go. That looks more reasonable. So it'll boost Caesar's favor slightly, but we're basically wasting it by doing that. Um, okay. So build a couple more clay pits. And are they are they buying all my pottery? Maybe two more uh, pottery workshops. Well, it looks like I still have pottery, so they're, they're probably going to be buying it all up. Yeah, okay. So we're we're now uh, exceeding their uh, ability to buy our stuff, which is good. Um, let's go and set up our next uh, our next export. Which is going to be pigs. So these will come like that. And we'll have an engineer's post down here just to be extra safe. And we'll build a warehouse here. And it's going to be accepting meat. And we'll open up our second land route. And uh, we will sell them our meat. Uh, I also want to set up my military industry. Uh, so, raw materials, iron mines. Mm. Four is probably a good amount. set up a warehouse that will be accepting weapons and we'll stick a barracks over here too I may need uh, just a bit of extra labor Academy over here too. Okay. All these guys working. Or not because we have labor shortages at the moment. Um, probably the best way for me to deal with the labor shortages will be to start feeding people. Uh, so let's get... No, not vegetables. Oh, I have to. Uh, okay, well I guess we'll, we'll feed people uh, veggies. Do it. Okay. So this will come out and around. There. We'll put an engineer's post in here. Uh, let's see. Where's my water coverage? Make it to. Put a fountain here. And here. Yeah. None of them really do a job. 
do a good job of it. Uh, oh, we'll just throw in a little bit of a dash of labor here with a well, and we'll worry about the. Uh, we'll worry about getting them uh, water later on. For now, we just need uh, some labor there. Okay. Uh oh. Hopefully, blessing from Caesar is enough to uh, not Caesar from Mars is enough to take care of those guys. Otherwise, we might be on our way to our first reset. Uh, I really should have built uh, some military stuff right away. And we'll see if we can't um, can't cheese these guys a little bit. Spear of Mars kills half of them. Okay, so they are going for a little hole in the fence. Let's shut the hole in the fence and we'll open up another hole over here. So do they turn around? Uh, where are they? There they are. They did turn around. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could try to get them to deal with the wolves for us. Oh, we have wolves inside the walls. That's bad. Uh well, we'll have to deal that with that some other time. Okay. So we can send them back the other way. And let's replace the wall. And we'll we'll ping pong them back and forth while we wait for the uh, towers to get some defenses. Good. I'll put the wall back. And we'll cut a small hole so that they come over here. Oop! They just went right through the hole. <laughs> All my cheese, and they uh, they just ignored it. I really thought they would go after my troops. Move, you scum. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, well, probably also if uh, we didn't have some barbarians tearing it down. We're going to start over. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's get this fixed up a bit here. So, we always need to remember this is a military method. <laughs> So build a military. Uh, okay, so that's a nice walled-in section. I don't think there's any wolves. There aren't any wolves. Good. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. So. Bring a reservoir out like that. Let's get the military going early. We'll have 
two weapons workshops. And a warehouse like that. Then over here, uh, we are going to need clay pits. Steam, one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, it seems like a good amount. Clay pits dedicated to pottery production, and then we can have uh, two warehouses. This guy accepting pottery, and this guy will be accepting clay. And set up some housing like that. Engineer's posts on both ends. And there. That should give us the that should give us enough labor access. Um I'll put a doctor and an engineer's post here. This does for uh, our initial population. Um, no trade with Londinium. We'll export pottery and clay. Alrighty. So when it comes to people, we need more. So we'll get Caesar's bailout money soon. There's his bailout money. Okay, I'll open up, add some more tents in, and we'll get a few more people coming in. Hopefully, get our. Uh, our industry's up and running. Okay, not quite enough. Oh, I forgot about gods. Let's build those temples. Probably gonna get a curse soon. Uh, I especially don't want a curse from Mars, so we'll build that. And before I forget it, let's get a barracks 
We'll get a barracks running. As soon as I have some money, we will... Oop, there's a curse from Neptune. We have the Iron Mine Caves in event. And the Bad Water event. Lots of bad, bad events on this map. There's a fumigation. Well, it'll even out the population for the demographic shifts. Uh, I'll get rid of that. Okay. Again with the iron mine cave in. workshops. Uh, let's get a military academy down. We'll wait for a few more dollars to come in. I'm dead again. I don't think I ever adjusted salaries. Let's bring that up to 36. And uh, we'll slash, slash taxes down to zero. Okay good, we got a blessing from Mars. It's handy. More piles. How's this tradition? Okay. Uh, let's get some forts down. We'll do a legionary fort and a javelin fort to start. It's going to get us earn us another path. Again, not that big of a deal. Mm, no, I don't. I guess this will be this would be all my money, but I feel like hmm, seems like too much to have at this point. Alrighty, so those guys are training up. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna leave a little gap there. And we're just going to line this with towers, so we'll, we'll be we'll be funneling all our uh, our enemies into this uh, killing zone here. I'm not 100% sure if this will work, but we'll try it. Kills a bunch. Ah, the uh, the natives are a bit too smart for my nonsense. They're trying to dig through the walls. for the hmm. 
All right, so they won't go for the uh, my invitation. That is the uh, the open front door. Let's, uh, let's get some of our farms up and running. Uh, we'll go with vegetables again. Romy should have their veggies. And... The, uh, I'll put the actual granary, I guess, here. This. Like there. There we go. I'll put an engineer's post there. Some semi decent housing in like that. some markets. Let's see we're gonna need markets to feed everybody. Well, it's gonna put us into some debt, but you know, it's not a big deal. Oh wait, so, so this guy will only be accepting vegetables. And I'll put in a couple pig farms with a warehouse here. And the warehouse will be accepting meat. And we'll open up trade with Kaleva. And we'll export our meat. the speed up to 200 here. Uh -oh. So oh, Caesar wants vegetables. Let's have this guy accepting vegetables. guys up to hovels. And then we can put a theater over here. And then give them a library. Is this guy not getting water? He's not getting water. Alright. Just our priorities here. Mm. Oh, wait, no, not uh, governance and religion. Religion should be a higher priority. Health and education, military, engineering should be relatively high as well. Okay, so we're just not going to have anything working in health and education, and military will be mothballed for now. 
the most important thing is going to be getting our uh, it's getting in the industry working so that we can um, start imp exporting again and uh, get rid of this debt. Actually, I have I have a pile of cash, so let's just uh, give some money to the city, and that'll take care of it. Um, so, some fancy tile will probably improve the situation. Allegedly, they are not getting religious access, so let's give them a temple over here. And then I can just uh, tuck some temples in around here. Okay. Okay. All right. So we should be okay now. It looks like we're going to need more vegetable farms. So let's get some more vegetable farms on the go. guy to getting vegetables and I'll put another granary here and he's going to be accepting I'll toss another granary this way Make use of this farmland up here too, uh, for even more vegetables. All right. And it's fine if I overproduce a little bit because I do actually want to overproduce some vegetables. Uh, they're not getting water. If I don't get some, mm -hmm. those guys aren't getting education. So we have our first barbarian attack. I wonder if they will come for this uh, this nice setup I made for them here. I should make it this thing a bit wider. So what I'll do is I'll delete all this. Instead, I'm gonna have it come out like this. This be a little bit wider. Okay. And we'll just line the oops. 
Well, I know, Caesar. I'm spending all your money. It's all right. Just calm down. Checks in the mail, Caesar. Okay. Uh, let's just give the city some more cash. Well, these guys go back to your base. Put a vegetable farm down here. And I had a vegetable farm. Uh, engineer's post. I also never uh, put any housing. So all these buildings are about to collapse, I'm sure. Yep, there they go. <laughs> Goodbye, money. Uh, Caesar still wants his vegetables. get these vegetable farms back up and running. Okay. And vegetables. More vegetables, please. are all working. <laughs> you made the map in 98? What? So it's a very old map. Uh, Letitia will buy furniture and iron. And Augustus Trevorum will buy weapons. Well, let's open up trade with Letitia. And... This seems like a pretty good spot to set up our, uh, our dock here. So we're going to have a double dock, and we'll just adjust our wall slightly. Um, we want to have a number of iron mines. And then it'll come down like this because we need to get our uh, timber yards going here. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Let's have five. Okay. Oops. Make this block even bigger. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I am still going to keep that intersection there. And I'll put two warehouses. This guy will accept iron. Uh, and this guy will accept furniture. Uh, we're going to need a bit of labor access in here, so I'll put those down there like that. And let's have an extra engineer's post. Uh, next we'll need our, our uh, furniture workshops. We need 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9 and 10. There we go. That should do it. Put that elementary scrap of labor right there just to make sure everything gets working. All right, that is accepting vegetables, and this is accepting meat. Uh, ah, he's accepting everything. No, you, oh, no, 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 you only accept vegetables. We only get vegetables, good. And you only accept vegetables. There we go. Uh, giving them some plazas should help them to evolve. Okay, so now we have Caesar's request for your Caesar. Okay. Exporting our furniture and our iron. Let's even open up trade with Augustus Trevorum. No, we're not importing goods, we are exporting them. And what I'll do is put in two warehouses who get weapons. We don't export, we won't be exporting a lot of weapons, so that should be plenty, plenty for our export. Okay, that works too. Uh, Mercury is upset. Ah, yes, of course. Um, so let's get down some more temples. Population should still be okay. It looked like there is loads of... Um, Loads of uh, areas there. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, feel uh, feel free to send it to me in the uh, in Discord when you have it uh, ready to go, because I uh, I think I'll give it. A, I'll I would like to play it. Looks like a fun map. <laughs> well, now you've told me you've gone and spoiled the uh, the idea. Okay, lots of lots of baddies coming. Um, got big time unemployment. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's do a. It's gonna be some lazy city building here. These aren't nice, uh, nice little loops, but who cares? <laughs> uh... Oh, okay. So you're telling me you won't do it? All right, I'll take you at your word. <laughs> I assume, and and I'll assume you're not you're not doing actually doing it. You uh, like shocked Pikachu face when you uh... okay. Let's see, will they come right down Murder Alley? They will. Nice. <laughs> oh no, they're, they're attacking the wall. Uh... All right, sent them packing. Try widening it out, widening it out a bit. <laughs> oh gosh, that's even uh, even crueler. 
That would back up all the trade to uh, a single uh, one dock, which would be agonizingly slow. Would be so backed up all the time. Um, right, so these labor shortages are because, uh, well, because of uh, a lack of housing. A lack of. Uh, bah. The houses are devolving because there's a lack of labor. That's that's the thing I was trying to say. Uh, so let's put this here, and we can squeeze in even more housing. All right. Okay. I get the feeling the uh, the military maps are quite easy. I mean, once you figure out how to handle uh, handle the the military side of things. Um, Ugh, those that, those events are horrible. They they really don't do anything. <laughs> well, I mean they do things, but it's like <laughs> the worst events ever. They're just there to be annoying. Good way to get Jake to like permanently ban you from making maps too. Oh no, I left my military uh, out of their forts, so now they'll be all uh, low morale. I'm sure, we're gonna have some bigger attacks eventually. Uh, so I'll build another. I'll build two more. <laughs> hmm. They are kind of a uh, a critical element. Although it would be funny if you uh, you had a pre-existing road network and then you weren't allowed to delete them. So you have to force the player to use the pre-existing road network. That would be uh, a pretty silly uh, setup. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, money's flowing in. How are these guys not getting entertainment? Oh, it's probably because I still have labor shortages. Fair. Um. And because of my priorities, let's remove the priorities. Well, except for engineering. I want to make sure engineering keeps working. So, and then everything, all of this will evolve again. Um, I'll put a few warehouses in here. Uh, getting pottery. Getting furniture and getting oil. <laughs> you can disallow housing. Ugh. Why, like, why would you disallow housing? It would be such a strange. And I guess you could have a bunch of housing pre-built on the map. That'd be kind of funny, but uh... Oh, you can't really though, eh? Not when you're uh... Not when you're setting it up. 
Oh well, no wonder no one's getting uh, entertainment access. I don't have. Uh, I only have one theater. Uh, let's get rid of that Temple of Venus there. We'll swap in a theater, and we'll move move Venus over here, I guess. Well, that's not Venus. That's my Temple to Venus. Uh, these guys need entertainment. Let me just scooch this wall over a little bit. There we go. And actually, we're going to put in a couple amphitheaters. Well, maybe just the one. Um, And we're going to have a gladiator school down here. And sure, let's have an actor colony down here too. And we need baths. Let's get rid of those guys. Put some baths in there. On the barber. Barbarians. Ooh, that's a lot of drum beats. Uh -huh. Okay, here they come. Oh, you're, you're not allowed to go through this wall, guys. Why why aren't you listening to the rules? This way. Come this way. No, no, stop it. Where... Oh, I, I left the wall open. Okay. There you go. That's right. Be, be good little chariots. Ride right into the towers. Good, good. Oh, I mine caves in, and that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, um, the the AI is. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if uh, yeah I don't know if they always attack from here. But the um, the campaign maps often like to have them attack from the same spot. Um. Especially on um, on the maps in in England, for whatever reason, they like uh, they like to attack in one spot. So I'm just gonna keep making this wider, because so I think if it's a bit wider, they they won't attack the towers. I think I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, my soldiers barely had to do anything that fight, which is nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so these guys have all evolved into insulate. Uh, ah, they want a library. Let's give them a library. Do the farmer's library. They need a bathhouse. have there. Okay, that's just the theater, so we can get rid of the theater, put some baths there. Yeah. Baths there, and then we'll we'll move the theater over there. Okay. Yeah, that could be I would at least then it would have some sort of impact, I guess. Um, but I still feel like 
you should be able to mitigate it somehow. Like, why why is it a completely unpreventable event? That's that's the part that makes it really annoying. I think. Like, Romans couldn't figure out some kind of way to pump water? Like, pretty sure... Pretty sure they had that. At least some way to do it. Awesome. Okay. Ah, so they're, they've got the... Whoa! That's a lot of uh, vegetables to ask for, Caesar. Uh... Well, let's build uh, even more vegetable farms then. We've got some unemployment. Maybe this will be enough. Okay. So, try putting in some medium statues here. The medium statue right in here might uh, might be better than the small gardens. Nope. Okay. Now the now the issue is uh, entertainment. Yeah, the amphitheater doesn't make it down into here. Oh, maybe maybe they will now though. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So this guy's serving them now. Just not getting access to furniture. There's furniture there. So maybe there it's being consumed before uh, before it can make it back. Okay. Let's set the groundwork for more housing over here. And lots of those up. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I must have access to oil somewhere. Uh, ah, okay. Oh, they'll sell me olives too. Very nice. Well, let's uh, let's start importing olives. That is from Augusta Trevora, Tisha Augusta Trevora. Okay, these guys. And we can just adjust this road slightly and put a warehouse there. He's going to be accepting olives. And now we make uh, a bunch of oil uh, workshops. Mm. Can I adjust this road? I'm pretty sure I could. Ooh, Venus is upset. We'll have to make things up through, up to her. Another one in there. Uh, okay. So we should have four to each of the gods. Uh, we definitely don't have four to each of the gods. Um, hmm. Where do I want to throw these? Yeah, well, let's just toss some temples over here. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the military maps just give you so much, so many export opportunities. Cash is just like unlimited. Um, so it'll it'll be quite easy to uh, to hit our targets. 
Um, okay. Uh, let's take a look at the water. And the city has the city has quite a lazy design, really. Um, not even bothering to make uh, distinct blocks is uh, you don't uh, you really don't have to there we go it's better to do but Markets in here. Uh, let's give them access to all of the gods. Uh, they're gonna get a theater. We'll get an amphitheater. Uh, I want them to have some baths. They'll have a library or two. Give them a few schools. And we want to have warehouses getting all the goods. So, getting pottery, getting furniture, and getting oil. Let's uh, fill all of this in. I never built a engineer's post on this thing. Um, we should give them a doctor, and let's also give them a barber. These guys devolved. They don't have access to a bathhouse. Okay, just delete those two little houses there. Oh, they're a bathhouse there. Some more Legion Air Forts. Entertainment, but not enough. That's the issue. Okay, so they all have the amphitheater. No current plays, no current gladiator combat. That is probably because I don't have enough um, gladiator schools and uh, actors' colonies. So let's put down a couple more. Uh, so 
we probably need... Oh, I don't have a place accepting oil. These guys should accept oil. Yeah, so pottery is getting gobbled up before I can actually get more of it. So, and we have a surplus of clay, so let's build some more pottery workshops. Doesn't really matter where. We'll do four more. And... Yeah, should be okay. Let's put down one more clay pit just to be safe. There we go. Alright, great. And there, we got 5,000 population. As these guys evolve, that should um, allow us to have uh, even more. Okay, so they're all attacking from up there. Go through there. You're not allowed through there. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Let's actually send out the army. We we need these guys to run away before they get to the city. Okay. Just shoot through the walls to get over to these walls faster. Uh, okay, let's, let's clean up the... Uh, so I think it's, it's because the walls are a little too close to, uh, to each other. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll do this. We'll tidy up the walls a bit. And... Send everyone back to their bases here. Everybody go back to base. And those we'll, we'll clean up. So we'll widen that out a little bit more. Down. And we're going to move this wall back even more as well. The idea here is I want to I want to try to encourage them not to attack the walls so I don't have to keep replacing them. If I give them a lot of room, maybe maybe they won't attack the walls. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, what's the issue here for these guys? Oh, they don't have access to a barber. Okay. Let's give them access to a barber. These guys are all upgrading. Good. Uh, okay. 
So part of it is desirability, so we're going to put a large statue here. Uh, part of it is needing schools. Uh, so let's delete those, and I'll put a school in here. Uh, delete that guy. We'll put a school in here. Let's take a look. How does that do for getting these guys to evolve? Pretty good. Very good. Oh, not very good at the moment, is it? I, I've had two failed attempts, which is unfortunate. Um, and now I have to... Um, now I have to do the uh, entire Mario race. Um, which is truly a curse. But I'll do it, because I, I do want to come back and, and do uh, and eventually do the uh, the mod challenge. Because I know I can do it. I, I have all the skills I need to, to do the mod challenge. Um, I just need to not make mistakes. <laughs> Basically, um, all right. So we're going to have some random farms here. Because uh, yeah, I think my failures can in the uh, mod race can be summed up to uh, you know I just. It didn't come naturally enough to uh, take care of all the things, and then you know I'd forget something or not realize a certain things. What is my Discord? Uh, what What do you mean? It's uh, if you click on the link in uh, in my about page, it'll it'll bring you to my Discord. I just added it today, so if you guys, if anybody joins, you'll be like uh, the <laughs> the the first non-me people. So you guys can be founding members of my Discord. <laughs> Basically, if you want to send me maps or something, um, you can use the Discord or suggest games for me to play. Um, we can do. That's kind of uh, what I'm hoping to use the uh, the Discord for. Um, a lot of people know me through the. Well, almost everyone who who's on this channel knows me through the uh, DDR Jake uh, community. Um, but I think that there's a handful who, who aren't from there, um, so they may not know how to get a hold of me. Uh, desirability. Let's just put down a large, large statue here. Okay, so now they want school access. Population is continuing to climb. Uh, native risk. Uh, we'll put a school right there. Uh, should do the job. Well, it did for most of them. Uh, okay, so those are evolving. Perfect. Uh, okay. It needs furniture. Um, I mean, if uh, I mean, you could suggest a punishment game, I guess. But um, if you feel I deserve punishing, I, I suppose. <laughs> um, 
I, I'm considering the Mario race to be a uh, punishment for my uh, my failure to do the mod challenge. Because um, it's certainly painful for me. I think people like watching me do it, though. Or some people do. Jake seems to enjoy watching me uh, suffer through uh, the Mario race. Alright, so that's the population limit. We've already hit prosperity. Um... So yeah, wow, we're we're basically there. Man, these um, these military missions are are very easy. So we'll send Caesar a lavish gift. Um, we'll put down uh, uh, another vegetable farm in here, so we can send Caesar the. Uh, his fiber requirement. <laughs> that would be really, really amusing. Um, is there is there multiplayer function on Mr. Maze? Or maybe we could have a, a Mr. Maze race. <laughs> See who can finish the game the fastest. <laughs> a first ever Mr. and first ever punishment race. Why did I even speak those words? It was such a mistake. Uh, <laughs> Jake might actually go for that. I don't know. If at least to have only to have some company in his uh, suffering. Um... is lowered. Well, I can definitely see why uh, Jake specified that it had to be the... Um... Oh, Caesar's uh, a little grumpy with me. Oh, I need another warehouse over here. Since this is uh, one warehouse isn't going to cut it. Okay, those guys are all running. Uh, do I have... I have perfect theater coverage, okay. Average and good. So let's get some more libraries. go. Alright, now we have perfect library coverage and that got us our the culture we need. So we, now we just have to please Caesar. Should be easy enough. Just send him uh, a chest of nice sapphires. Once we have enough veggies in the warehouses, we can send him some veggies. Veggies and sapphires. That's all it takes to make Caesar happy. What are they doing? Why are they going back and forth like that? Alright, well we have his veggies. Here you go, Caesar. Is one of them set to getting? No, he's accepting. He's also accepting. Did I tell this guy to empty the warehouse? No. Nope. Alright, I really don't know why they're running back and forth, but whatever. Okay. Another another present, Caesar. Uh, I should wait at least till. I'll wait. Uh, I'll wait a year. Uh, okay. 
Okay, Caesar is grateful. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll wait till January comes around and then I'll, uh, I'll send him another present. Well, it's not really a struggle. Uh, the vegetables was kind of an annoying request. Oh, he wants furniture. Oh, I don't even have enough furniture. Dang. Okay. Uh, oh, let's, let's make some uh, some furniture over here in Caesar Request Town. Okay. This is where all of uh, Caesar's requests are met. Uh, we'll do one, three, and four. And I'll put a warehouse here. And he is accepting furniture. There we go. Oh, we've got a barbarian attack. It's a big one. Maybe if I send the military out here, they'll uh, they'll they'll take it as a challenge and they'll come come and fight. They'll they'll come at me. Oops. Boom! Get wrecked, Celts. Okay. Uh, can I send Caesar's present yet? No. Let's we'll send him a gift. Oh, is it? Uh, is it January? I said. Oh, let's wait a couple months. Do -do -do -do. All right, it's January. Oh, we can send him his furniture, and we'll send him a nice present. I would not be surprised if that gets us the win. Just have to wait for his. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Um, how long did that take? It was an hour and a half, and I uh, I really was not I uh, <laughs> was not going for speed there. Uh, very easy map. Look at that. Finished with twenty four thousand denarii. Uh, I think I only had like a little bit of debt issues at the start of the map. Um, I never even bothered to collect taxes. I think that whole that whole. Uh, a whole run, I, I have zero tax. Yeah, zero taxation. Because there's, there's no point in collecting tax. I was making so much money from trade. Um, well, that's going to be that's gonna be it uh, for for tonight. <laughs> the counties I go. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's pretty outrageous, but I, I really didn't need to. This is a, a tax-free utopia on the, uh, on the border of Scotland. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for uh, for tonight. I thought about doing another. Uh, I was initially thinking I would uh, do a run with Quasi's old map, but um, I actually have other plans, so I got to go take care of that. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow, and I'm going to be starting the the Pharaoh campaign. Uh, so if you guys are interested in seeing. Uh, seeing a, a playthrough of Pharaoh, I'll be I'll be starting that tomorrow. Um, Till then, thank you all for tuning in and have a good night.